This is Miu, and I go for mathematics here in YouTube. This video is going to be a little bit different. As a couple of days ago it was the International Women's Day, I'd like to speak about some female mathematicians and how they needed to fight to become one because of their gender. The first person I'm going to speak about is Emmy Noether. She was a German mathematician. At first, she wasn't allowed to attend full-time classes because she was a woman. However, as her father was a mathematics teacher at that university, she was allowed to audit the classes. Finally, she obtained her doctorate from the university. And eventually, she could find a job as a mathematician, although it wasn't an easy task because of her gender. Among her many work, Noether's theorem is one of the fundamental tools in modern theoretical physics. When Ada Lovelace met Charles Babbage and knew about his project, the analytical engine, she started working in ways of programming it, so it could do far more than simple calculation. She foresaw the potential a computer could have, speaking even about creating music with a computer. In a time where nobody else thought about programming computers, she already made a difference between hardware and software in her notes, as well as she is the first computer program ever. As she was a woman, the scientist community didn't recognize the value of her work until a hundred years later. I'm going to speak about Mary Somerville. Despite her parents didn't want her to study mainly things, she received support from her uncle and a teacher so she could get into mathematics. She translated Laplace's book, Mechanique Celeste, into English and she gave a complete explanation of all the mathematical techniques that were used there, as they were still very known by the British scientists. She was very prolific and her job in the analysis of Uranus orbit and its perturbations was the origin that allowed to discover Neptune. Marie-Sophie Germain was a French mathematician whose passion about this discipline was so huge that she pretended to be a boy so she could go to the university and she could speak with some other mathematicians, such as Lagrange or Gauss. She contributed on elasticity theory. Her work about fermat Last theorem gave a basis for those who proved it hundreds of years later, and she also made several contributions to number theory. Sofia Kovaleskaya was born in Moscow. Despite she had to study math during night secretly and she had to face the hostility of a lot of male mathematicians, she became the first woman to gain a Northern European professorship at the Stockholm University. Her contribution to analysis, mechanics and partial differential equations were really notable. Maria Andrea Casamayori de la Coma was a Spanish mathematician. She is less known than all other I have mentioned, although experts consider her at the same level as some of them. She was a pioneer in applied mathematics. Her book, Para si solo, is considered an important treat about the matter. She also wrote about didactics in mathematics and her books were used long time after her death to teach mathematics in Spain. Jocelyn Bell was the first person that detected the radio pulsar. When the paper about it was published, three names were on it being hers the second one. Even with that, her two male peers were awarded with the Nobel Prize, but she doesn't. When John Clark went to college in Cambridge, she wasn't allowed to finish a full degree for being a woman, so she just got a double first degree in mathematics, finishing it with first class honors. She joined the group this time to break the Enigma code. She was the only woman in that group, and even if she was doing the same job as her male peers, she was paid less than them. Her first promotion was to linguist grade, even if she didn't know any other language. But it was the only way to make her earn an extra money. Eventually, she became deputy head of the group, although she was still paid less than her male peers. Well, after this, I'm sure most of you are thinking that the situation has changed. Of course. Nevertheless, Women mathematician, or let's say women in STEM, we still need to deal with a lot of sexism. Don't you believe it? I have been told that I am too pretty to be a mathematician. Well, I also have been told that a woman can be either beautiful or intelligent, but not both at the same time. I have been told that I can try, but women in general are less capable than men, less brilliant, and that mathematics are for men. A friend of mine has been told by all her male peers that she was hired because her boss wanted to have sex with her, and that her master's degree in mathematical engineering had nothing to do with that. 
that very same friend has been harassed by one of her workmates in her new company. After a congress about her thesis, a friend was asked if she was wearing a bra as part of the question people are allowed to do after each presentation. Again after a presentation about her thesis, another friend was told that it was the same that she was so pretty, as they were so astonished by her beauty that they couldn't listen to a single word of what she was saying. When a friend was sexually assaulted by her office mate that was doing an exchange, not only the university didn't do anything to protect her, but they tried to bring him back the next year, because how were they going to deny a PhD to a person just because he had a mental illness? Most of us, when we are approaching a group of colleagues, they tend to speak just to the men. And even when the question should be addressed to us, because for example, it's about our work, they address it to the nearest male person. These experiences have been told by women that are younger than 27, living in different countries. Why don't you ask to a female peer if she has ever suffered something similar? As you may notice by my strong accent, English is not my first language, so I apologize for any mispronunciation in this video. Thanks for watching, and if there is some subject you would like me to treat, just write it in the comments.